so today, I, I wasn't going to film today, but I have to do some errands in town. I'm going to take uh, Raphael with me. That weather, though. I uh, want to get a few things for Christmas for the family. Zeb, Grandma, Grandpa, Eddie, and uh, Adar. Well, he's not with me. His present um, should be coming in the mail, though. I just got him one thing, but I wanted, like, little stocking stuffers for him to open. You know, his first Christmas in America, too, even though he's not... He doesn't celebrate Christmas. I also want to get some Hanukkah stuff today. I have most of it, but there's a few things that the kids are missing, like dreidels, and I want them to be able to play it and learn how to play it. Now that we're in America, it says something different. It says uh, a miracle happened here. No, a miracle happened there, which means Israel. When we're in Israel, uh, the dreidel spells out a miracle happened here. So anyway, I'm going to go and get a few things. Yesterday we got, um, hi. <laughs> so the reason why I wasn't planning on filming today is because I wrote out half of my Christmas cards and <laughs> thank you guys so much. Um, it, it means a lot that this many people care about my family and this is only half of the people that I actually have an address for and I have six more boxes of cards to get and send out and I think you know I like getting cards it shows people that you care and I care about you and if I have your address I definitely will send you a Christmas card so I have a bunch of cards here and Lots of stuff to do. I also have to buy four books of stamps. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, guy. I was green. You know what? You want to go to town with me today and get some stuff with me? Make sure it's it, park. It'll be exciting. Park first. We're not going to the park. We have a full day of stuff to do. Full day. We got to go to shopping. all kinds of stores. All kinds. Not shopping. Have to. You know what we're going to get? What? We're gonna go and get stuff for your school. What is it? For your Christmas party. We don't need that. Da yeah, I signed up to bring stuff for the Christmas party, so yeah, we do need that. We can bring some stuff from home, can't we? Nope. Yes, Has to be we new. Can. Has to be new. It's new gifts for the kids. So we're gonna go get gifts at Dollar Tree. We're gonna look around. You can pick them out. Only Dollar Tree. You don't want to go shopping? Not shopping, I want to do something fun. Like McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's. Okay, let's go then. McDonald's and make sure it has a cat toy. Oh, I can't make sure of that. Depends on what they got. All right, you ready to go? Yes. Okay. We Tomorrow, gotta... we'll see if there's a cat toy. Okay, let's go. If there's a dog toy... Okay, Raphael got a sucker, and it's a root beer sucker, and he loves root beer. He found that out when we came to America. That was one of his first sodas. Loves root beer. I love root beer too. All right, we're at Aldi's and I've got some things to get here today. Here we go. So when we went into Aldi's, there was a woman who didn't know how to use the thing, you know, to get the buggy, you know, how to put it, put a quarter in and get your buggy out. Well, I just gave her a quarter, but you know, she's like, I can't figure it out. So I showed her how to do it for next time, but I just gave her a quarter for her buggy. And it's, it's weird because I have to remember that people, some people are just not like, what is that word? Mechanically inclined, right? And I really am. So I could look at something and figure it out most of the time. Sometimes, like, Hanar's stepmom and dad got puzzles. And I was, like, the first one to figure all of them out, right? And then Hadar, like, it took him a while. But for me, that stuff, it's not easy, but I think it's because of dyslexia. It is easier for me than it is for, like, a person without dyslexia. I'm pretty sure that's why I am mechanically inclined. Because my dad is the same way and he's dyslexic. So I, I don't, I've never really looked at it as, like, something that holds me back. Even though it, it takes a lot of work and it makes me very tired to, like, read. Um, 
like insanely tired. <laughs> uh, it's, it's never something that held me back. I feel like it's always been a gift. So, and like blueprints and stuff like that, that's a big one. I feel like I don't understand why people can't understand blueprints. And I was really good at it in school. And the person that taught the class said that I should go into that, even though I have no skill as an artist. Um, <laughs> he, he recognized that I was really good at it. So it is something that I did think about because I do like, I draw random stuff, you know, and I expect people to be able to understand it. Like, here's the room, here's where I want to put this, this, and this, and this. And the only person who can read that is my dad. He understands exactly what I'm saying at all times. <laughs> and my mom's like, I have no idea what you drew here. This looks like kids printing. Like, what are you talking about? But um, I have to see if Raphael can, can draw like figures in a house and dis display. I think that I'll do that this week. I'll have him write out the house. You want to do that this week? No, thank you. I think it's this shirt. To put stuff in it. I have to tighten this shirt. It's showing my straps. Anyway, I'll have I'll have you do that. Draw out the house and place all the furniture in it. Yeah. No. In the doors and the windows. No. From looking up. Look Only the doors and windows. Because it's going to be hard to put everything in it. I bet you can do it. No. I bet he can do it. I can't put everything in it. I'll have to see if Seb can do it, too. That'd be cool. I know my mom can't do it. She has no idea what she's looking at. <laughs> she's like, what is this? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't really know where I'm going to go now. I have a list of places that... Oh, I need to change out their um, mini blinds because it's completely just rotten and it was falling apart so I need to get a new one of that and hopefully they're less than $20 at Lowe's we'll see I'm home and I stepped off we got like stocking stuffers for Zeb and the kids I got a few little uh, treats Zeb is probably not going to eat this but the other kids like them roast seaweed snacks sea salt flavor the other kids love love seaweed love it I got Raphael he needed this, plus it's really cute. I got cat, oh my god. Cat ears. Cat helper. Okay, and for the kids at the party, I got all of these. These are unicorn fizzers. Now I got this for both boys and girls. These are bath bombs. It smells so good. Even the register woman, she's like commenting on how good they smell. So I also got these. I had to get 21, but Raphael just informed me that he got two more classmates. So I have to go back. He informed me on my way home. I got lip balms that you can separate. Got the Starlight Mints, just because the candy canes um, you didn't get that much stuff in the candy canes. There was like six for a dollar. And I got, these are my favorite. This is like a tradition for me. My grandma would always give me one of these and I have no idea where she got them from. She never bought a bag of this candy. But they were always so good. And strawberry is like my favorite thing. Um, strawberry flavored stuff. So I have got that for the kids. I got, this is their Hanukkah gift basically um, the cat ears and this is for Abigail. 
and I bought more Christmas cards to send out and I bought stamps and I bought international stamps too um, I thought they had to weigh the package weigh the envelope you know so I took two up there that was gonna go to Australia and Great Britain and she just put a stamp on it and I'm like wait a minute can I buy those stamps And she's like yeah said okay I thought you had to weigh it <laughs> So, that that's nice. <clears throat> oh, and also, I got this wrapping paper for Zeb because <laughs> he'll think that's funny. I got that at the Dollar Tree, and I got this at Aldi, and it was $1.99, I think, but it's a really thick roll. Really thick. I mean, there is a lot of paper on there. So it's probably like three times, it's a better price than buying from Dollar Tree. I think it has like three or four times the amount of paper on it. It's called Merry Moments Heavyweight Gift Wrap. It is 80 square feet. The one at, oh, it's four times more. The one at Dollar Tree is 20 square feet. So for a dollar more, this is a great deal. $1.99. You can tell the difference. 20 square feet, 80 square feet. Good deal. So I got the blue because it's it's most like um, Israel. And this is what I'm going to wrap the Hanukkah presents in. And I also got the kids this to go along with the unicorn theme. The rainbow pencils. So they'll each get at least one pencil. Hi. Hi. Santa is sick from a cat that got closer to him. He was about to drink his milk and then a cat got close to him and he's about to eat his cookie and he ripped the cookie into the pink. Into the milk. Is Santa allergic to cats? Yeah. So how does he deliver to people's houses if they have a kitty. He doesn't. He Santa's not come. coming here? Santa does come here. He picks up our cat. He brings our cat back and then he picks our cat up. Oh, so he gets rid of the cat while he's here. Yeah. And then he brings the cat back. Yeah. Okay. Is he allergic to dogs? Nope. Oh, okay. He's allergic to cats, and he's not allergic to dogs. Is he allergic to milk? Nope. Oh, okay. He's just eating... She, he's just dipping the cookie into a milk. Okay. That's how he's not allergic to milk. Okay. He's drinking bad milk. He has good milk. So we're just two cats, not dogs. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Because I sure would be disappointed if he didn't show up. I did not show up. The rainbow. Rainbow? The rainbow seemed to me who oh make a rainbow. And it dropped its rainbow feather and it was its color. What's this? Ho-Oh loses its color. Are you talking about Pokemon? Nope. It's Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh loses its color and dropped its feather. You're not talking about Pokemon? I'm talking about Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is a Pokemon legendary, Mommy. Ho-Oh is a Pokemon. And it's, it's legendary. It could lose its color. He's talking happen? about the rainbow wing on I chose you. How does that happen? Because it's not really deep. Mm -hmm. According to my story, Ho-Oh got some friends with it. Is that right, Mama? Yeah. It dropped its feather when it lost the darkness. It, it fight some people. And Something red under, under, under the table, 
the quest table. Ash was with the quest, and then something rattled. Red. I bet it was Charizard. You think Charizard did that? Nope. I I bet it's a flamethrower. I bet it's Charm. I bet it's. I bet it's Charmander evolved into Charmander and then mm -hmm. to a different Pokemon and different Pokemon. Hello, Mama. Abigail, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you put this under the tree, please? Yeah. Thank you. That's how I do. Your Thank you. Favor. Oh, oh, it's the last one Come on. I dropped some. Of this splendid forward this friend named Toto. It roots itself after that. A what? It roots it it roots its, it its coat after that. But it's a shadow type? What's that mean? Oh my story, it does do that. Oh okay. Alright guys. Today is number 11 on the advent calendar. And this is something that I got as a kid that I really loved. A candy cane! A candy cane. Can we eat it right now? Sure. But how do you open it? But hold on a minute before you do that. We have day number 12, um, which hasn't happened yet. It's not the 12th yet, is it? Nope. Oh. We're going to do it now. Because we are behind in our vlogs by a day, I think. What are these? So, this is a candy cane. Uh -huh. So, you each get one. Yay! And now, Daddy, will you get them day 12? Wow, I have really bad handwriting. Mm -hmm. Day 12. One for you, one uh, for you. I got Rocky. Uh, I hope it's oh, good. Look in here. What is this? Bracelets and a ring set. What is this? Look at it. Can you tell? Huh? No. Ah. I cannot I'm tell. Can you it. tell now? Still, no. <laughs> really? It's a profile, a side look. Okay. What if you look at it from the side? What does it look like? Uh, easy to assemble, easy to... A plane. A plane. A plane. There you go. You get to put it together and fly it. It's a foam plane that you can fly. You can seriously fly it? Fly it, yes. To the moon. To the moon? Did you get suckers? Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, I'm wrapping Kitty's present because she is going to open it, of course. A ring set I think someone will help her. Yes, a ring set and bracelets. No. What do you mean, no? A link set and then a bracelet set. That's right. They're both mine. What did you get? <laughs> plane. A plane. I can build it. You could fly it? Yep. You could fly into the moon? I put it together by myself. It doesn't fly. I need to do it again. It did fly. Do it again. No, it didn't. It went like this. It needs to go like this. There you go. You just have to aim higher. All right, Raphael, and your cat puzzles, you already put that up, right? Yep. Yep, it's bedtime. Nope. We'll try some more tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. I'm going to miss my place. Draft in the straight line and keep up. You hear Raphael? He's got a plane. Night, night, kids. I'm going to have my place. A what? A map. Somebody blew a map out. Drew a map? Yeah. But he asked for one specific thing. So we're gonna get it for him. And now I'm gonna take the bag in and deliver it. You're a ripper and a picker.